Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. Want to finally learn Norwegian the fast, fun, and easy way? In this video, I'll show you the top 10 ways to get started. So let's begin. Number one, take your very first lesson. Access any audio or video lesson on NorwegianClass101.com and just press the play button to get started. Don't have an account? Don't worry. Just go to the sign up page to create an account. It takes less than 30 seconds and it's free. We have thousands of audio and video lessons covering a variety of topics like grammar, pronunciation, listening, and reading. Just click on the play button on any lesson and start learning. Number two, read along with the lesson. You can read along with the lesson notes or lesson transcript. These come with every lesson. The lesson notes provide you with the dialogue for the scene taught in the lesson, along with translations, a more in-depth explanation of the grammar and culture, and even vocab and sample sentences. The lesson transcript is the full word-for-word -word transcript of everything you hear in the lesson. And the dialogue study tool provides you with the audio for the lesson dialogue, along with the translations. Number three, shadowing. Shadowing is a tested learning technique where you repeat what you hear. This is a great way to start speaking in minutes and practice speaking in general. If you're listening along with the lesson audio or dialogue, be sure to shadow along the way. Number four, use the dialogue study tool to master the conversation. Here, you get the line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation demonstrated in the lesson. Listen and repeat until you've mastered each line. Do this until you've mastered the entire conversation. Number five, Use the voice recorder to perfect your pronunciation and speaking. In the dialogue study tool, you'll find a microphone icon next to each line. Click on it to record your voice. Then compare it with the native speakers. Listen and adjust your pronunciation until you match that of the native speaker. Number six, review vocab with the lesson vocabulary list. Vocabulary words are the building blocks of language. You can save vocab words taught in each lesson by clicking on Add to Word Bank. Want to drill the words with smart flashcards instead? Just click on Add to Flashcard Deck to do so. Number seven, listen to the review track. If you've studied an audio lesson before, just listen to the review track so that you don't have to listen through the entire lesson again. This is a great way to reinforce the material that you've learned and it's great to have on the go. Just access any audio lesson and click on the download icon. Then click review to download the review track. Number eight, review with quizzes after the lesson. Once you're confident enough with the material taught in the lesson, be sure to take the quiz to test your newfound knowledge. Take the review questions and answer true or false for each one. Or take the writing questions and input your answer. Remember to check the answers by clicking on the check answers button. Number nine, participate and leave a comment. The best way to master what you've learned is to use it. Join the community of learners by leaving a comment below at the end of every lesson. Our dedicated teachers will check your responses to correct you on any mistakes or provide you with helpful study tips and advice. And finally, number 10, move on to the next lesson. Done with a lesson? Mark the lesson as complete. You can see your overall learning progress on your dashboard. If you particularly enjoyed the lesson, mark the lesson as favorite so that you can come back to it later at any time. Click on the forward arrow to move on to the next lesson and continue learning. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn Norwegian and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. Remember, you can sign up to NorwegianClass101.com by clicking on the link in the description. Sign up takes less than 30 seconds and it's free. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hej, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte dig. Hi, I'm Nora. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Norwegian expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Norwegian. You only need to know two sentences. Let's see how Norwegian people introduce themselves. Hej, jag heter Nora. Hyggelig att möta dig. Hej, I'm Nora. Nice to meet you. Hej, jag heter Nora. 
hyggelig å møte deg. Start by saying, hei, jeg heter. Then say your name. Hei, jeg heter Nora. Finally, say, hyggelig å møte deg. Hei, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. And now, let's see the same sentence in a different format. Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. Hello, my name is Nora. Nice to meet you. Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these together. Hi has been substituted with an alternative greeting, Hallo, Norwegian for hello. In a formal setting, you would say your full name, but it is better to just use your first name when being introduced to new friends. Hyggelig å møte deg has been shortened to just hyggelig. When meeting someone in a formal context, for instance at work, hyggelig å møte deg will be the most appropriate greeting. When being introduced to new friends, hyggelig will do. One more time. One way to introduce yourself in Norwegian is Hei, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. An alternative way to introduce yourself is Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. Now it's time for Nora's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Norway. While hyggelig å møte deg is slightly more formal than just hyggelig, you don't need to worry too much about which one you use. If you use one of these sentences with Norwegian people, they're definitely going to be impressed. En lærer og en elev snakker. Når skal studenten gå til lærerens kontor? Jeg forsto egentlig ikke alt i klassen i dag. Klart. Har du noen spørsmål? Ja, jeg har ganske mange. Har du tid nå? Jeg er litt opptatt nå. Vennligst kom til kontoret mitt i ettermiddag. Jeg er der fra klokka ett til fire. Ok. Jeg kommer klokka to. Når skal studenten gå til lærerens kontor? En lærer og en elev snakker. Når skal studenten gå til lærerens kontor? Jeg forsto egentlig ikke alt i klassen i dag. Klart. Har du noen spørsmål? Ja, jeg har ganske mange. Har du tid nå? Jeg er litt opptatt nå. Vennligst kom til kontoret mitt i ettermiddag. Jeg er der fra klokka ett til fire. Ok. Jeg kommer klokka to. In this lesson... We are going to learn numbers in Norwegian. Yes, numbers. Tal. From 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. 3 minutter. Are you ready? Let's start. 1. 1. 2. 2. 3. 3. Fire, fire, fem, fem, seks, seks, syv, syv, åtte, åtte, ni, ni, ti, ti. Ok, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
Great job! What is before en? Do you know? It's null. Null. You don't have any more excuses. You can give your friends your cell number in Norwegian. Let's try together. We'll use the phrase numere mitt er, which means my number is. Numere mitt er. Numere mitt er ni, to, en, tre, fem, åtte, syv, fire. Can you read it by yourself? Ni, to, en, tre, fem, åtte, syv, fire. Perfect. Now it's time for Nora's insights. If you're just starting out, it's okay to say your cell phone number like this. But most Norwegians will actually use double digit pairs. So not 9213, it's 92, 13, and so on. Once you learn how to say compound numbers, come back to this lesson and try to say the phone number in a natural way. You are at a train station where you're attempting to buy an express ticket from a ticket machine. Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? The option on the bottom left is for an express train. You are at a train station where you've just bought an express ticket. Which train car row and seat number are you in? Which train car row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in train car number one in the eighth row in seat C. You are at a train station where you're reading the train schedule for an express ticket that you've just bought. On which days are there no express trains running? On which days are there no express trains running? There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean?
What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, Passing Train. Passerende tog. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Utgang mot øst. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in Norway. Er dere klare? Are you ready? La oss begynne. So let's start. The most used informal greeting is Hi. Hi. Hi means hi. We use it when we meet people. We can use this greeting with anyone. But it isn't the only way to greet someone. We also have Hallo. Hallo. Which means hello. And more time-specific greetings like God dag, God dag. Literally, God dag means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use God dag only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say God kveld, God kveld. Kveld is Norwegian for evening. So, god kveld means good evening. Finally, in the mornings we say god morgen, god morgen, which means good morning. God dag, god kveld, and god morgen are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we don't say them again. When parting ways for a long time, we usually say ha det bra, ha det bra. Ha det bra means be well, but translates best as goodbye. Finally, in Norwegian we have an expression meaning see you soon. Ses. Ses. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Norwegian. Let's review them all again. When meeting friends or someone we don't know, hi or hello. When leaving, we say, ha det bra. When leaving but want to imply, see you soon, we say, ses. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Nora's insights. In formal situations, Norwegian people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, it's common to give hugs. Don't be afraid to try it out with your Norwegian friends. En man och en kvinna ser på en meny på en restaurang. Vad ska man beställa? Vad ska du beställa? Pizzan ser deilig ut. Jag tror jag tar den. Jag hade pizza igår så. Ok då. Vad med hamburgern? Høres bra ut. Jeg tar den. Hva skal man bestille? En mann og en kvinne ser på en meny på en restaurant. Hva skal man bestille? Hva skal du bestille? Pizzaen ser deilig ut. Jeg tror jeg tar den. Jeg hadde pizza i går, så... Ok da. Hva med hamburgeren? Høres bra ut. Jeg tar den.